I've recently been asked four different questions by a future climbing gym owner about some market research. Now, I get these questions a lot, so I decided to just make a video for everybody that's interested. So if you're interested in opening up a climbing gym and you really don't know where to start, you'll wanna watch this video. Thanks for watching the Climber Dad channel. My name is Sam. I owned and operated my own climbing gym. I started out when I was 13 years old by building my first home climbing wall. I've shaped climbing holds and I've been around the climbing gym industry before I started working. I've built climbing gyms across the country. Right now, I am currently the, mark, the climbing wall director and manager for OC Aerial, which is where I'm at right now. It's a pretty awesome place. You can check it out at ocaerial.com. Let's get back into the reason why you're here. The first question, what resources did you find helpful for performing market research for a climbing gym? So I had a pretty sweet spot where I started my climbing gym and the fact that I was helping manage a climbing wall for the army post that was near me. And through managing that, I was able to see the numbers. Numbers are typically pretty guarded, but because I was there, I was able to see these numbers and I use those numbers to help judge what I can do specifically in that area. I also saw a massive increase in the usability of that wall just by taking care of it. Climbing walls need to be managed and taken care of. Another thing that I did was I looked at areas around me. How many climbing gyms did those cities have? If they were established, well established, and being able to continue on with, with work and growth. And then I created that formula to show how much climbing gym would be needed and supported in my local community. Now, I do not remember what that formula is, so please don't ask. You're just gonna have to do that research yourself. Second question, about how much time did you spend on research before you felt or thought it was feasible in your area? Well, this is kind of a gray area here in how much time because I really studied the climbing gym industry since before I started working. It's always intriguing, something I've always wanted to do in the back of my mind. So I've been looking at it for a long time. Now specifically with Clarksville where I started my own climbing gym, I was researching that area specifically for about three years. Now there's another year prior to that where I was heavily researching what it took to manage, operate, and own a climbing gym. So four years, three years, I don't know or the last year before I opened up the climbing gym, I was really, really honed in on that area specifically and doing heavy market research. Third question, what questions is the market research trying to answer? I'm gonna answer that question with another question. What is your goals? What are your goals for opening a climbing gym? Is it to solely bring that climbing community together in your area? without supporting any employees? Is your goal to build and establish a climbing community and support yourself and employees? Those are questions that need to be answered by your market research. Fourth question, did you spend any money on market research? That's also kind of tough because do you value your time? I didn't spend any money outside of my time on market research, but I did spend a lot, and I mean a lot of time on market research. When you get involved in doing something like this, you are gonna be all in and doing this 100% of the time. You're gonna be thinking about it in, in ways that you can make it work or ways that it might not work, some challenges that can come up, and those are definitely things that you need to think about. If this is your dream, if this is your passion, it might be a really good idea to hire a third company to help you see what those challenges are because of course you want to accomplish your dreams, your goals, and sometimes you may not see all of those pitfalls or those trials that will 
stand in your way of being successful and having a third person there with knowledge, maybe hopefully more knowledge, uh, can be of great benefit to you and the success of your journey. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about opening a climbing gym, comment down below. Let the community answer that. You can also send me an email over at theclimberdad at gmail.com and visit my website, climberdad.com. And I'll see you next time right here on Climber Dad. Hey, you made it to the end. Maybe you should check out one of these other videos. Go ahead, click on it.